on location, location, location. We're in Wollongong. We're our desperate house hunters. We're moving out Friday week. And my job is to find you a house. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Please. In the next couple of days. Please. Yes. Uh, keeping us on our toes. House hunting's easier <laughs> than that, Richard. <laughs> As we try to find the perfect property. Oh, heart of my heart, isn't it just beautiful? Before the market sends us packing. Look, there's like alpacas or something. Oh, there is in the back garden. <laughs> beautiful south coast of New South Wales where we're taking in the sights of wonderful Wollongong. Monkey, I can't hear a word you're saying and no one wants to have to read this on subtitles. Pull over. I have a couple who want to get closer to family trading in one beach for another, from the breezy bays of Melbourne to the glorious south coast of New South Wales. And my buyers are childhood sweethearts who've been together for 51 years and they're looking for a new adventure by the sea. Mucky, do you think we'll make 51 years? Not if you keep doing that to me. Steve, let's get out of here. They're pictures of perfection. They're not affectionate. I'm in a nice way. Oh, please. I'm not the only one feeling the pinch. The cost of living is soaring. So if beautiful beaches and magnificent mountains aren't enough to lure you to the gorgeous gong, then maybe the median house price will. The median house price in Wollongong is now selling at $900,000. That's a whopping 30% less than neighboring Sydney. Eager to flush out untapped potential in the Illawarra property market are my buyers, plumber Andrew and dance teacher Maria. When these go-getters met, it was love at first sight. I saw her and I just thought, wow, this woman just looks incredible. I just uh, felt like there was something about her. Well, you didn't show that. You were leaning back and with this hideous silk bomber jacket. And orange. Orange silk bomber jacket. And the tightest... I love colour. <laughs> the tightest flares. And then before you left, you said, oh, well, when are we meeting again? As if it were a foregone thing. Well, of course it was. <laughs> you had, as a, I had no choice in the matter. And that was it. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't always been an easy ride. A few years ago, an injury left Andrew unable to work for several months and they had to make the difficult decision to sell their forever home. Had we not had that medical hiccup, we would still be in the other house. But man proposes and the universe disposes. Now these toe-tapping grandparents are re-energised and ready to renovate, even if they're not always dancing to the same tune. We argue a lot when we're renovating, obviously. <laughs> We argue we considerably. Do tend because to argue. she always goes, what's the, what do you say to me? She goes, I have an idea. And I go, oh no. <laughs> and then... Your life's purpose is to make me happy. Yes, absolutely. So in the end, we all win. Yes. Because I'm happy. <laughs> well, Maria, I'm hoping I can make you both happy with a home you can put your stamp on. So, what is it you're looking for now? A house, preferably with old world charm. A bit of breeding. So you're looking for a home very similar to Andrew. Old world charm with good breeding. <laughs> no, in worse condition. <laughs> <laughs> in worse condition, that's good. We don't mind it being in worse condition. It sounds like you're looking for the house with potential. That's exactly right. And to see through how it's currently presented to how you could make it look. Exactly. All right. Where you're living now, can you stay where you are? No, we're moving out Friday week. We want to get a house we have to be right out. away. We have, we're packing now. We have to go. Yes. And my job is to find you a house. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Please. In the next couple of days. Please. Yes, please. <laughs> we need somewhere Don't to live. Don't think the pressure is on. <laughs> we need somewhere to live. I had better get going. Mm -hmm. hey, come on, let's go. OK. Well, you know what they say. Pressure makes diamonds. I hope that's true, cos I'm on the hunt for a hidden gem. With their budget of $700,000, Maria and Andrew are hoping to find a renovator's delight. They want a house with character and old world charm. Two to three bedrooms so the grandkids can stay and a garage or space to build one for Andrew's motorbikes. Their ideal suburb is picturesque Port Kembla. 
While you're rustling up a renovation, my buyers, Meg and Dave, are looking to make the move from Melbourne. Hopefully one doesn't crap on you. <laughs> I'm a bit unlucky like that. <laughs> they want to be closer to Meg's family while maintaining the active lifestyle they love. Every weekend revolves around the, the kids and their sports, but we're the only parents that do karate. I don't mind front kicks, but the thing that scares me most is the forward roll. I'm not sure if I'll ever get up again. <laughs> Let's do it, Harry. Are we going to the beach? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Now, with their two boys, 10-year-old Will and 9-year-old Harry, gearing up to move schools, Meg and Dave are eager to get their family settled ahead of the new year. We want to move to a place where there's children around the same age as, as our kids, with access to the beaches, and they can still continue that outdoor lifestyle we have currently. But the interstate house hunt has bordered on impossible. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's just too far away from the beach for us. And despite months of searching, Meg and Dave are yet to put in a single offer. It's hard to fly up there, see what's going on, and, and have that chain of events that normally happen when you're buying a home. Now they're determined to secure their sea change. We've thought long and hard about what this change is going to look like. It is the next step for the rest of our life. We're really hoping that we can find exactly what we're looking for. My Melbourne migrators are flying in so I can help them find their forever home. Well, Mitch, you need to be on top of your game as there's a lot of interest in this fast-paced market. Lucky for them, I'm a black belt in house hunting. You're moving up here from Morty Alec, just outside Melbourne. And why this area? We want to come back to Sydney to be closer to, to my family. Yeah. Uh, and we like this area because when you come home, you feel like you're on holiday. This is the most untapped area around Sydney. Mm. It's a little secret gem. Mm. Yeah. How do you want me to help you with your search? Living in Melbourne, it's logistically quite difficult. It's quite an expensive undertaking just to see one house. Ultimately, we wanted to make this move, but it had to fall with, in line with what the kids were doing. Yes. So it's a finite window we have. And tell me about the house. The, the dream house. We love open plan living, where everything's happening around the hub of the home, that'd mm -hmm. just be an amazing thing for us to achieve. And with a good walk-in wardrobe. Definitely. Yeah. And the kids, they have special requirements around the house. What do they, what do they want? Well, Harry, our youngest, wants uh, a balcony. A balcony? He wants an infinity pool and he wants a butler. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mitchie, I hope Meg and Dave's must-haves are more manageable than Harry's. With considerations of what you'll buy, are there areas of compromise? Yeah, because often with homes by the beach, you either have a spectacular view of the beach yeah. with more difficult access to it, yeah. or you don't have a view, yeah. yes. but you can walk right to it. Mark and I live in a place where we can see the beach, right. but we're up a mountain. And for us, it will be that ability to walk out our front door to the beach. Right. Most important. So we're going to have a view. We'll have to find a very short hill yes. yep, next to the beach. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Sounds like they're tied to the idea of living by the beach. Are you sure you've got this? Don't worry, Mark. They couldn't be more Pacific. Oh, Mitchie. With a generous $3 million budget, Meg and Dave want a family-friendly home with open-plan living. At least four bedrooms with space for Dave's daughters when they visit, close to cafes, sporting fields and bike trails for the boys, and walking distance to the beach is a must for Meg. And don't forget, a butler for Harry. Oh, Mark, even for me, that's a tall order. With beach life at the top of the priority list, I'm starting my search north of the Wollongong CBD in Winoona, where the waves are within walking distance. This isn't too shabby, is it? 10 out of 10 for view. And the only noise to worry about is the noise of the waves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I think we'll do something about that as a family. Yes. <laughs> But all this doesn't come cheap. The median house price in Winuna's waterfront wonderland is $1.4 million. Whoa, I hope this place is worth its weight in salt. Sea salt, that is. Welcome to the Beachside Beauty. Wow. It's gorgeous. So far, so good, Mitch. Looks good. Yeah. Beach around the corner, beach house in front of me. This is what you wanted? Yes, definitely what we're looking for. Let's take a look inside. So Perfect. Thank you. This light-filled five-bedroom home offers open-plan living with plenty of room for karate kicks. And Dave can forward roll seamlessly into the stunning backyard. Not that they'll be spending a lot of time there when they've got the beach at their doorstep. There's even an extra bedroom upstairs, which could be used as an office space or a kid's retreat. 
This property is on the market for $2.75 million, a cool quarter of a mil under budget. That's plenty of cash to splash on a butler. In fact, I could do with one right now. Welcome in. Wow. Wow. What do you think? No, I, I love it. As you walk in, it just opens up into the... Like, you see the backyard. It's gorgeous. The boys can think they're away from you. Yes. But you can see them. You can still see them, yes. yes. <laughs> whether they like it or not. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Never mind the boys, it's whether Meg and Dave like it that counts. And on first impressions, they're beachy keen. Oh. This is nice. Yeah, look at that. So whether this is going to be enough, Meg. So you can have this little spot, and then I'll have that. <laughs> I can see why they've got another cupboard here. <laughs> the wardrobe may be a smidge on the small side, but how about this lofty landing? This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just trying to think what you use it for. Yeah. Gives us something to ponder. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to get down these stairs, actually. This is a good test, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Secret room. I think it could be the man cave. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, jeez, watch when you go down. Oh, yeah. I've never been much of a limbo dancer, to be honest. I think I might need to be <laughs> in this room. Come on now, don't keep me in property limbo any longer. Well, you're smiling. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good. We enjoy looking around. Yeah. Right. So that's it. <laughs> Could you see yourself living here? Yes, I can see myself sitting out the front with a glass of wine, listening to the waves. I think it's beautiful. There's just a few concerns. The garage space, I don't think it's big enough to fit yeah. the car, bikes, the boogie boards, that type of thing. And then the other one is the stairs in the main bedroom. For me, when I look at that space, I'm not sure how practically it could be used. I thought the same thing when I walked in, because the stairs are too steep to use on a daily basis. Yep. But off the top of my head, I had a thought where you could take out the wardrobe mm. and put a staircase in there with a bend, but then use what's left there for a decent-sized walk-in wardrobe. Mm. That's a great idea. Otherwise, we don't get your walk-in room. Exactly. So, guys, I'm getting good vibes. So let's just stop here. Let's go and look some more homes. Up to you, Dave. Thank let's you. Go. Nice job, Mitchy. You've already made a splash. Thanks, Marky, but this is not the time to coast. I'm going to blow them out of the water. where it's a race against time to find our buyers their visions of property paradise. Marky, seriously, why are we here in a dance studio and why am I wearing this? Well, it's a very good question, by the way. Great shirt. I thought so too. We're here because one of my couple is a dance teacher, the other oh. is a plumber, and I thought I might tap into some inspiration. That feels a little bit desperate for this stage of the search, Mark. Not at all. My couple, they've just sold a place they renovated and they're looking for another project to polish, not demolish. Ah, well, my couple moving from Bayside to Seaside, Melbourne to the Gong. But they've got two young boys who are in school and they want to get them into the new school system before the new year. Ooh. But this couple, Mark, I tell you, mm -hmm. their heads are screwed on really tight. Speaking of that, why don't we spin into this week and see if we can find some houses? Oh! oh. <laughs> you okay? Got my chick. I think house hunting's easier than that, <laughs> Mitchie. I don't have time to catch my breath. I'm headed 8K south of the CBD to Lake Heights. Located just a stone's throw away from their preferred postcode Port Kembla, Lake Heights has the views Maria and Andrew are after with a slightly more affordable price tag. A beautiful day in the Illawarra. Yes, the Illawarra puts it on again. It has so much to offer in terms of lifestyle. And the Illawarra also has this. Oh, it's lovely. And it's got a chimney. It does. I do love chimneys. And what else do you see? A garage and a carport. Why don't we head in? I'm hoping this 1960s cottage has the charm Maria's chasing to make it their own cosy abode. Did you say noisy road? Oh, stop it. It might be a tad bustling, 
But this type of property at this price point isn't easy to come by around here. This small but mighty full brick home boasts two bedrooms and original wooden floorboards throughout, perfect for tap dancing. It's packed full of potential. With a little TLC, this place could be picture perfect. And with a price guide of 689K, it comes in just under their $700,000 budget. So welcome to a project. Right. Right. Oh. Oh, heart of my heart. Isn't it just beautiful? But it's not so noisy once you're in here off the street. Yeah, so you get the benefit of the solid brick. That's right. So the walls might be not so easy to knock down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Walls have to come down. Mm -hmm. I can see what you mean, Andrew. She's yes. already got ideas. Yes. But there is another room I'd like you to have a look mm -hmm. at. OK, we're going to head this way. OK. You're off to a good start, Marky, but as they say, kitchens sell houses. So you better hope they're not deterred by this one. Just enough bench space for the microwave and the air fryer. No, that's not your kitchen. This is your kitchen here. It would probably suit us just as well, because here we hate cooking, so... <laughs> Hang on, so that wall can't go. I was wondering how many you would discover okay. that. So what walls have got to go, then? <laughs> you probably need to have a good look around well, we to work it. out what the opportunities are. The floor are plan, yeah. In the floor plan. Thank, Thank you. you. That wall might be safe for now, but nothing else is. Ah, oh, true. OK. Maria's in makeover mode. I'd rip it out and start again. But it has potential. Yes. I really like that they see opportunity. And I love the fact Maria was thinking the whole time. Well, where that whole wall could go. Yes, combine the kitchen and laundry. Well, that's brick again. That's going to be hard. Sounds like you might have hit a brick wall with this one, Marky. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Just bouncing a few ideas around. I could see that. I want to hear your feedback. Well, I like the fact that it's double brick. But then the double brick becomes problematic because I don't see the potential to knock walls down to create a lovely big open space yeah. that I like. Yes. And you've also got the road. But that's why the price is where it is because this is on the market at 689. Mm -hmm. Where this property in a different location, you probably would be paying into the sevens. But I'd be prepared to take a fibro house, more amenable to the inside walls being yeah. knocked uh, down. Uh, and a kitchen that's really dilapidated, D doors fall off. And that's you're what up. you're looking for. That's what I'm looking <laughs> for. You're unique. You've got me inspired now. <laughs> I'm just seeing if I can find one of those. Renovator's <laughs> delight. So, fibro and falling apart. Really? There's no dancing around it. These two are after a serious fixer-upper. Well, I'm continuing to cast my net close to the coast. Melbourne migrators Meg and Dave were blown away by the beachside beauty in Winoona. Wow. But it had them musing over modifications. And put a staircase in there with a bend, but then use what's left there for a decent-sized walk-in wardrobe. That's a great idea. So I'm taking them to a brand-new beauty in Bulleye. Nestled beneath the Illawarra Escarpment, this suburb is swimming with sand, surf and scenic trails, ideal for their active family of four. Just ten minutes walk to the beach, this house could see their family settled before summer. It's quite grand, isn't it? Yeah. It's very big. This one is brand spanking new. Finished just last week. Mm. So we are ahead of the game. Wow, OK. And it's going to be the best workout of the day. <laughs> Sounds like you took their breath away, just not the way you wanted. Trust me, this home is worth it. Spread over two levels, it's five bedrooms and three bathrooms of pure luxury. You're right about that. Upstairs has an impressive master suite with living and dining that flows from an entertainer's kitchen. It's even got a butler's pantry. That should keep Harry happy. Mitchy, he wanted the butler, not the pantry. What ifs? With a price guide of 2.5 million, it's well under their three million dollar budget. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> It's so different from the other one. This one, so you need many to other use your imagination. Yes. And I think that's why the pause. Everything's done. And some of the things that you asked me for, this one has them on offer, which were particularly of interest to you, Meg. The wardrobe? Mm. 
I'm not saying any more. I think I've said enough. <laughs> Off you go. Thank you. I'm going to let Meg and Dave discover all the things this pristine property has to offer. Mm. It's hard to adjust to something so new. No wardrobe. Hang on, Meg. Maybe I should have come with you. Oh, OK. Good. Ooh. This is a selling point. <laughs> this place, it's literally a blank canvas. But is it going to sing to them? Mm. For them to make it their own? I really don't know. This looks like it would be the adult level. Yeah. Don't know if I like the boys not being upstairs with me. Hello. Hey, Hello. Mitch. <laughs> Come out. How did you go? It was good. I enjoyed what it. What about the wardrobe? I know, I loved it. We went into the bedroom and thought, oh, this bedroom's not very big. And then you and then walk out the door. Boom. And then, yeah, yeah I love that. Yeah, Mitch, I like it, but it's, it's just not quite enough for us. Yeah. When you think about the dynamic of the kids playing in the back garden and the hills. Yes. I think any ball that goes out over the fence, we're in trouble. It's trying. a goner. Absolutely. We can't force a round plug into a square hole or the other way around, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> back to the drawing board. Bad luck, Mitchy. Looks like the tide's out on this one. That's OK. Tomorrow is a new day, and I am predicting smooth sailing. We're on the hunt for houses in the beachy burbs of Wollongong. Go-getting grandparents, Mario and Andrew, were left wanting more, or should I say less, when I showed them a brick bungalow. Walls have to come down. So I'm hoping a fibro fixer-upper will strike at their sweet spot. And I found it in Berkeley, where the median house price is 700000 That's bang on Maria and Andrew's budget and 200000 less than their preferred postcode Port Kembla. This house has just come onto the market. And I think there's some potential in there mm -hmm. to maybe move a few walls around. Oh, good, I do. I like to do oh, I thought you would enjoy Just that. remove them all together. Well, you know. <laughs> would you like to go in and have I a look? I would love yes, we would. to go in and have a look. Let's go. Let's hope this positivity continues, because this place desperately needs updating. Exactly. It has three bedrooms and a large bathroom that's rip-out ready. The separate living, dining and kitchen areas means plenty of walls for Maria to knock down. This cutie could be a contender. So let's see what you think of the renovating potential in okay. this house. Well, the wall, that wall goes. <laughs> I knew you would say that. Well, that must be a new world record. We've barely been here for half a second. It's got the bones of a good start. Andrew can see the bones of a good start. I'm not sure you can. I'm struggling a little with it at the moment. And I don't know that I can put a finger on why. Maybe it just hasn't got the charm. But it's not talking to you, is it? No, no, no. It's weeping. <laughs> it's weeping. <laughs> weeping or crying out for help. And Andrew might just be the man for the job. Centre opening doors. OK. It's a good size room. Curtains are ghastly, so they go. It's got potential. Oh, OK. It's not desperate, is it? <laughs> no, it's OK. I'd get... I'd go... That'd all go. Yes. I'd, that'd all go. Get rid, of, get rid of that at least. And make it one large room. Mm. Wouldn't be too hard at all. Just enjoying the back garden, fresh air. <laughs> right. It's cute. Yeah. It is. So what are your thoughts on the property? I liked it. I could knock the wall down, take the entire kitchen out, so that that would be one big, gigantic entranceway, dining room. For me, it's got things I'd like to do. So it was showing you some potential? It, oh, it has potential. Yeah. Hmm. Maria's still going, oh, I'm not sure about this. Marky, it sounds like Maria has her walls up on this one. The price got on this property is 630 to 660, which means with your budget top of 700, you would be able to come in with some savings and about 50, 60,000 you could put into the property. Hmm. Certainly have to think about it. Let's go. So Andrew's definitely dancing with the idea, but with their moving deadline looming, can he get Maria in step? Meanwhile, with high school on the horizon for their two boys, it's now or never for Melbourne migrators Meg and Dave to find their forever home. Wanuna was a winner for location and lifestyle. Definitely what we're looking for. While my brand new beauty in Bulai was pristine but impractical. 
Don't know if I like the boys not being upstairs with me. I'm still in Bulleye, but this time I want to show them what their $3 million budget gets them two k's from the beach. So this is our high-end hideaway. How does it feel? Uh, yeah, I mean, first impressions. Got a lot in common with the beach house. Ah, in yes. In the sense of that really blended into its surroundings. What are you noticing about this home that we missed in potentially the first home? Oh, my goodness. A double garage? Double yes! Garage. Yeah. <laughs> yes! It's like pulling teeth today. <laughs> Let's go. Mitchie, this place might have a double garage, but Meg wanted walking distance to the beach. It's a risky move. No risk here, Mark, just great reward. This four bedroom, three bathroom stunner has everything a family could want. Upstairs has a light filled living area with mesmerizing mountain views. And the gorgeous guest retreat will be perfect for when Dave's daughters visit. Did I mention this property also has a pool? An infinity pool for Harry? Not quite, but it does have a balcony. With 328 metres of internal space, it's far bigger than the other properties they've seen. So there's oceans of room for this beach-loving brood and an alpaca or two. For the asking price of $2.85 million, this house could become their home. Welcome. Wow. 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 <laughs> Wow. It's gorgeous. This looks beautiful. Wow. It's a bit absolutely fabulous, isn't it? It, it's, it is. Uh, it's stunning. Yeah, um, your first impression's like no other, so that, it's amazing. Wow. Why don't you go and have a look around and take it all in and tell me what you think? Will do. Thank you. Wow. 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 But you certainly can't complain about the view. Oh, it's like alpacas or something. Oh, no, it is in the back garden. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm hearing is, wow, wow, and wow. This might be the one. That's all the bedrooms must be. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, look at that, on the balcony over the pool. <laughs> well, Harry will be happy. He will be happy. <laughs> I have a feeling Harry's not the only one that'll be happy in this house. Come and join me. <laughs> wow. If you think about the dynamic of our family, everything's just catered for. Everything you ask for, apart from a little bit of a distance to the beach, and that's going to become part of the toss-up. Yes. Do you want to walk down to the beach, or are you willing to ride or drive to the beach? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Th those are the things that we have to look at. Guys, you have a lot to think about. Yes. yes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Mitchie. They might be swept up in suburbia, but being two k's from the beach could leave this property stranded. We're in wonderful Wollongong with go-getting grandparents Mariah and Andrew. The brick bungalow was too sturdy and the frugal fibro didn't have the fondness factor from Raya. It just hasn't got the charm. Apparently, both properties weren't challenging enough. So I'm upping the ante. We're heading back to Lake Heights with a house that's dancing on the edge of demolition. Now this I've got to see. Um, are you crazy? My couple are looking for a renovation. This is a renovation. <laughs> it it's is... not a renovation. Good morning. Good Hello. morning. Hello. Hello. Not scared by this. Oh, gosh, no. No, no, I'm delighted. See? Absolutely delighted. Oh, absolutely. We love yes, a challenge. We love a well, challenge. he's delivered for you, hasn't he? <laughs> I need some of your positivity. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be time to go in. Thank you. This property may look like a knockdown, but I think it could be a knockout for Maria and Andrew. Built in the 1950s, this three-bedroom house comes with timber floors, high ceilings and original cornices. That should give Maria something to dance about. It has a large kitchen which is delightfully dilapidated. Ah, uh, you say that like it's a good thing. Well, with only a week until they need to be out of their rental, let's hope dilapidated is what they're after. Oh, isn't it lovely? I told you. I think it's just 
gorgeous. Mm. It's like the Fireside Dickens book. It just makes you feel all warm and cosy. I obviously didn't read that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can see what we can do here. Oh, I love it. Why don't you and Maria go and have a look at the rest of the house? And Andrew, you and I are going to go out and we'll have a look at the garage and what you could do out there. OK. Let's go, darling. You've been positive, sure. Yes. While well, you can renovate any house, you can't renovate a location. Oh, wow. That in the background. Wow, ocean. This room I would have to make living to make the most of that. We are on the same page, actually. Mm -hmm. We can bring the plumbing through, we can put a small kitchen, kitchen living, knock this wall out. Yes. Bedrooms will go to the back. Definitely, definitely. Luckily, knocking down walls is her love language. Oh, that didn't go quite high enough. Here's your garage. Functional. Temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> this house comes with all this land. Well, I don't really particularly want all the land. Maybe we could just cut off half of it and give it to someone else. Because <laughs> somebody's going to have to mow all this. How about you head in? I think whilst this is a small property, there is a lot to talk about. Yes. All right. See you. They're up for the challenge, and I love that they can see the potential in this place. It's a big job, though. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. That's terrific. I love it. I love it. Love the shade. So many ideas. I don't know why they want to detonate it. <laughs> I like it. How'd you go? There's a lot to be done, but done the right way and done with love, mm -hmm. it will look charming. So this property has been on the market for five weeks, but I've had a conversation with the real estate agent and they're saying somewhere around 695, but maybe there's room to move. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's That'd be good if there's room to move. I like that sound. Mm -hmm. So, okay. has it been worth coming and looking at this? Oh, definitely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yes, no, this is a possibility. Mm. A then huge possibility. I love you're not afraid of the project. I'm on board. Oh, I think we can make this work, board. darling. I'm hopeful this property will work, as they're running out of time to find a home. Meg and Dave are also feeling the time pressure to find a home and move states before the new school year. While the beachside Winuna beauty wooed them... It's gorgeous. It really is. The Bulleye Treetop Highway got them thinking. You certainly can't complain about the view. <laughs> We're going to have some decisions to make, I think. But I have a wildcard property up my sleeve, and it's in their favourite suburb, the Rural. Welcome to my house on the hill. Even the birds are chirping at such a beautiful place. It is. It's, it's stunning. Have you overwhelmed them for choice? I may have just done, and I'm about to overwhelm them further. Here they are now. Hello, guys. Hey. How are the heads going? <laughs> yeah, we are confused. We are confused. sport for choice. Yeah, yeah. Scra scramble. Torn between two. So. Well, when we get upstairs, I've got a surprise for you. Oh, he's always full oh, of surprises. Oh, he is full of surprises. He? Let's go. Spoiled for choice. I just want to give them every opportunity to find their new home before they head back to Melbourne. Split over various levels, you'll find four bedrooms and loads of living space, including multiple balconies, that should keep Harry happy. While it might not be walking distance to the beach, with a pool like this, they may never want to leave. On the market at 2.9 million, it's at the top end of Meg and Dave's budget. Keep coming. While the last property gave them space, this provides them with space and a view. What do you see over there? Oh, the ocean. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> the ocean that entry. was my surprise. <laughs> You keep bringing this these properties. Bringing it. You're scrambling yeah. my brain, but I love it. <laughs> Mark, I'm going to get you to show Meg through to the kitchen, and Dave, I'm going to take you up to the bedrooms. OK. Off you go. Okay. Look forward to it. Let's go. Let's go. So I want to show you something very special here in the master bedroom. Oh, wow. This place is a surprise every minute you turn around. Look at that. Yeah, it's breathtaking, isn't it? It's pretty special. Yeah. The thought of every time you wake up, it being reinforced as to why it was a great decision to move here is a, is a really nice feeling. I so. think that's a reminder, isn't it? Yeah. How is it going for you? You um, said that you've got 
a wealth of choice. Yes. So Mitch showed us an amazing beach property, and then the one this morning was, yeah, oh, oh was just stunning. Oh, look at the smile. <laughs> yeah. You've got this twinkle about it. <laughs> as well as ah. when you walk in and nothing needs to be done. Oh wow. The only problem is to get anywhere. It's by car. Yeah. It and is now stunning. you have this thrown into the mix. Yes, which makes the decision harder. What has he done to you? <laughs> yeah. You like it? Yeah. You could have created a problem for yourself. Maybe I'm just an overachiever. Oh, please. My only concern would be with the backyard, to be honest. There's a lot of places where kids could fall over. Too many hazards, I think. Yeah. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. How did you find it? It's stunning. Our concerns are more in the backyard from a safety perspective with two young children. For our family, it's an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. yeah. I get you. I take it this house is a no. That's right. It's it a no. I like your clarity. <laughs> You've got clarity on what you don't want definitely, but when it comes to what you do want definitely, we're a bit stretched between two magnificent homes. We are. Yeah, more than a bit. It's going to be an interesting. It's going to be an interesting evening. Have a big think. Maybe Thank a big you. drink. Let's go. I think so. <laughs> Thank you. It's decision day in Wollongong, where go-getting grandparents Mariah and Andrew are desperately seeking a renovator's delight. And with just days until they must move out, I'm anxious to hear what they're thinking. So we had a look at three properties. Yes. yes. So the double brick one. Yes. yes. Immediately you went, that's out of the mix. So that left us with Berkeley Abode. I was quite taken with it, actually. Yeah. And I could tell. I knew that I could knock down some walls. It had a nice small yard, so not much mowing. And then we came to a screeching halt when she said that she didn't like it at all. So I'll just... So you, you saw what you could do with the property. Yes. But for you... It just didn't click for me. I'm sure it'll make a lovely home for someone, but it just... I couldn't take to it. So that left us with Rundown Reno, which for a lot of people, that property would be very challenging. But you were particularly taken with it. I love it. Yes. Yeah, I could envisage yeah. what I could do. We both sort of thought that we might want to go ahead, except the simple reason that I couldn't have lived there without 500 square metres of empty land. <laughs> so land size was the mm. thing that really... Land size, ..was yes. the deal breaker in that one. So with those properties, I take it there's none that you're interested in making an offer at? Unfortunately, no. no. OK. No, we came close, and for a while it was yes. Yeah. And then we sat back and thought, no, we're being, we're being silly. We have to be practical. Yes. What now worries me? Mm -hmm. You have boxes packed and you're <laughs> moving out of your home. Yes. What are you going to do? Well, we're very lucky. We've had a friend step in. She is giving us her a townhouse until we find accommodation. Good, good. Well, it's been lovely working with you. Oh, look, we've had the best fun. Had the... We've had a bit of a dance around the property yes. market, haven't we? Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's water, but cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the future. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bad luck, Marky. They may have tapped out on the house, but at least they've bought some time. Absolutely. It might just be a slow dance for them to the property of their dreams. Over in Wollongong's north, Melbourne migrators Meg and Dave are on a time crunch to find a home they can move their family into before the new school year. They're torn between two properties and have spent an agonising 24 hours weighing up their options. Did you have a good night? Not really. Not really? But I think it's more because we've been very spoiled, having two great options. When we came here, we had expectations of what we wanted, like close to the beach, and then you showed us yeah. the hideaway, and we're like, well, actually... It kind of threw you. Family. Yeah, and so that was really tough for us. You didn't come here looking for it? No. Not at all. So that's what we've been deliberating over. What would take you to the beach house apart from the beach? I love that question, because actually what would take us to the beach house is the beach. You shut your eyes and you can see the kids playing and it, it's, it, it's wonderful. It had that real cosy feel. It felt like home. Oh, it felt nice, yeah. 
But then if you try and look forward next year, the year after, as they get older, like we, we love having them around us. But at some point, people do have to be around us and have their own space as well. So when we start to think about that high-end hideaway, it absolutely took our breath away. You just got places where you can be away, but still together at the same time. See, I don't understand that, because I never wanted to be away from my kids. <laughs> Not for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and the beach is only a few minutes down the road. It's a two-minute drive. It's just a, just a bit of an extra effort to get there. So family value for the beach house is great for now. Yes. yes. But then when you need space, you haven't got space. Correct. Are you ready to make a decision? We'd like to put a bid in on the high-end hideaway. Yay! <laughs> I think that's fantastic. It's perfect. And now we need to talk price. Yeah. When I look at a house, ordinarily I, I would see where there's a problem and I'd use that as a negotiation tool. Yeah. Issue is there's no problem. I oh, know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to negotiate again. And that house is an architecturally designed masterpiece. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah. I just want to make sure that the first offer is something that holds the attention enough to get a response. Yep. We have to pay them respect in what we're offering. Spoken like a true businessman. Yes. Yeah. I totally agree. The thing is, there's another part to it, and the, the part of it is the, the terms. Yes. So that the first thing we would love to do is get the terms extended as long as we possibly can. Yes. Five months. OK. The asking price for the home is 2.85. Yep. I think I prefer to start at 2.75. Mm -hmm. We need to have everything we can up our sleeve to negotiate on your extended settlement. Because six weeks is standard. OK, oh. all right. Yeah, but I think that's a reasonable offer to get the ball rolling. We're in. Let's do it. Good luck. Hey, Laurie, it's Mitch here. Dave and Meg are interested in the high-end hideaway. OK, so the price we would like to offer is 2.75. And our ideal settlement would be a five-month settlement period. Yeah. OK, I'll, I'll, I'll be standing by. Bye. Laurie's going to put that offer forward to the vendor. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now what we do is... Wait. <laughs> Sit by the phone. In Bulay, Meg and Dave are anxiously awaiting news from the agent. They've put in an offer of $2.75 million for their dream family home, but their extended settlement terms could draw a line in the sand. Hello, Laurie. Yes? Yeah. I'll call you straight back. OK. So, the vendor is concerned about the extended settlement of five months. If you want to have the five months extended settlement, they would want to be at full price of 2.85. If you would consider reducing back to four months settlement period, they would sell at 2.8. So that's $50,000 above where we're at now. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you want to do? Let's just think this through. With the vendor balking at a five-month settlement, yep. Meg and Dave are crunching five, the numbers. Five. There's your stamp duty. And must decide whether they're willing to meet in the middle. So, Mitch. At 2.8 million for a four month settlement. Let's do it. You good, Meg? Yes, very good. That's cool. Hey, Laurie, it's Mitch here. I had a good chat with Meg and Dave, and at 2.8 with a four month settlement, um, we have a deal. Right, OK, then I will let them know and um, we will be in touch. Thank you, bye. OK. Yay! <laughs> Come here. All done. Come here, Mitch, bring it in. We got a house! Congratulations, guys, yay! <laughs> yay. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Mitch. That's Thank awesome. So much. So happy for you. Yes, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. 
Wow. How do you feel? Yeah, excited. Yeah, relieved. We've been thinking about it for a decade, and just feel really good about moving to the area. How it's time. You, yeah. It is. How can you not be pleased? <laughs> do you know what? Let's get the boys on FaceTime. <laughs> can okay. we? We can try. We try. <laughs> I hope they're excited too, because this is about them. Harry. Harry. Yeah? Hey, Will. Guess what? What? We bought a house. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and, and guess which one it was? Treehouse? It yeah. was. And you've got a balcony and a pool, but no butler. But you've got llamas. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. Yeah, you can go back to making your schnitzels. <laughs> awesome. Bye. 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 What does this mean for you as a family? I don't know what it means to the boys, but we're delighted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'd be very excited. The fact that they said was at the treehouse yeah. shows it was the right decision. Yeah, we would just thank you for everything you've done. Well, it was my absolute pleasure. Let's have a glass of bubbles, hey? Oh, Sounds good. Uh, yeah, one say no. Hey! One end to a tough three days. Oh, I wouldn't say it was tough. Here's to you both. Oh, cheers. cheers. Thanks, Liz. Cheers. cheers. Thank you. Mm. Beautiful, thank you. A win all round. Yeah, yes. Absolutely, there is. Yes. Yeah. Well done, Mitch. Another sensational result. And while it was a slow dance with Moray and Andrew, they have finally found a fixer upper to tap them out of the property market. Hi, Hi Mike, Mike and Mitch. Mitch. Great news. We found our forever home and we won it at auction. Thank you for your advice on the auction process. It was a great help on the day. And now we've got lots of renovating to do, so next time you're this way, bring your paintbrushes and a suitcase full of those wonderful ideas. Now the only question is, which wall will go first? Next time, we're in Adelaide. I love the vibe of the area. Helping two anxious couples... You look like you're looking for an escape hatch. No. ...overcome their jitters. A lot of potential to fall in love. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> But to beat the heat... Wow. This is beautiful. ...in Australia's hottest property market... This is it. That's what we want. ...we'll have to jump to it. OK. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to throw all the money at you. <laughs>